Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, before I forget, please subscribe if you like my content. Give me that thumbs up, share my videos, and we're going to get started. So, I want to do an experiment with manure. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I've done them before. I haven't done one in a while. So, we're going to give it a try. It's going to be a mixture of manure and peat moss so the manure is called compost and manure and we're gonna just try it's supposed to be a blend of peat and manure but i think i might add my own peat so we're gonna try and i'm gonna show you what i do with manure ahead of time because as far as i know the only manure you can just throw in a worm bin is rabbit manure and this is going to be i believe cow manure and you can't do that with cow manure cow manure heats up so that has a lot to do with what i'm going to do ahead of time so i'm going to go get the stuff and then i'm going to put it in here so i got a container of the manure and there's no odor so i'm just going to spread it out now I'm going to make enough here to fill up three of my bins, my breeder bins. I just want to see what they do. Just curiosity. Now, I don't know if this has been pre-composted. I'm just going to pretend that it's not. It'll be safer that way. So I need to go get more. So here I have the manure. So I'm adding peat moss. I'm not sifting it. So you see the all the debris that peat moss has? Anytime you work with peat moss, guys, put a mask on, please. It, it can get in your lungs. It's very powdery. And you don't want to be breathing this in. So right now I got a mask on. I'm just mixing it. So this doesn't have odor right now, but I'm wondering when I wet it, if it will have some. We're also gonna monitor the temperature in this and just see, because from my experience, when you use manure, other than rabbit manure in a worm environment, you should pre-compost it for a few days because it's gonna heat up before you add the worms. Because if you add the worms, and it starts heating up like that, they're all gonna go. And I know an old farmer, worm farmer, that this is how he raised his worms. And the reason he did it like this um, is because he had a lot of access to manure and it was free, so, you know, why not? Sometimes it's it's what, what you have access to that you use, you know? I'm gonna do a little more peat moss and then we're gonna wet this down. So let's add some more peat moss. I'm also gonna get a form of grit. So I have some play sand. So I'm gonna use that. And sometimes you just gotta use what you have. So I have a fistful and I'm just gonna throw it in there. So even though this is an experiment for us to try, um, if you want to raise your worms like this, you can, if you have, you know, access to the stuff. So I'm mixing it really well. So the next step is I'm going to wet this thoroughly and you have to really mix it thoroughly because peat moss is sometimes hard to um, get it to absorb the water. And honestly, the fastest way I've gotten it to absorb water is with hot water. But I have the sprayer machine here and it's room temperature water and it has mosquito dunk water in it. So I'm going to use that to get this going. And this is enough. If I were going to put the worms in here, I'd probably make it a little deeper. Or you never know, I just might leave them in here. <laughs> I'm 
all over the place sometimes, guys. That's just how I am. I can't help it. Anyone who knows me knows exactly how I am. <laughs> so this is my sprayer. It holds a little more than four gallons of water and it's battery charged. And I love it. And it comes with like this long arm and a bunch of other attachments. But honestly, I just found it easier to remove that and just use this. And, and it works really well. So I got it on Amazon. If you want to know like the link for it, just message me. In case I forget to put it in there. So let me get this done. So as I'm wetting it, I'm also like going like this because if you wet peat moss, it'll just sit on the surface. I mean, you could literally come back tomorrow and the water will still be sitting on the surface. So let's get this moist. still going so if any of you have any new year's resolutions <laughs> i know it's cliche but sometimes i just like hearing it my resolution is to just you know just continue to be me and and i am gonna try to eat a little healthier because i had lost weight like a few years ago and because the stress of life and overeating and just having a little too much fun <laughs> I gained some of it back so see this is not wet enough for me it, it I could put worms in here and you know after it's composted if it's like this because see but I want it wetter So it's really wet and if I think I over wet it I can just go get more peat moss dry peat moss and just start working it in and it'll absorb it you can also use shredded cardboard shredded newspaper but since I'm doing this experiment with just peat moss and manure I would use that but no it's it's to the perfect consistency that I want see just a couple of drops came out so today is uh, January 2nd, I believe. So we're going to see how many days it takes to heat up, if it heats up. We're going we're gonna to test it out. I am going to cover it in wet newspaper. And I'm going to label it so I know what it is. And then we're going to be back with this one. Some people are afraid to use manure. Um, don't be afraid. You know, worms love it. And they really do a good job with it. It, it, it gets them excited. <laughs> so, but you just have to watch with the type of manure. So if you are gonna use cow or horse manure, just pre-compost it before you do. Um, like I'm doing with this one. And if you have rabbit manure, I have used it. And so here in the wormery, I have two. But what I do with rabbit manure is I rinse it really well to get the urine out of it and whatever else in it. And then when I feed it to the worms, I like to bury it just in case odor decides to come out or, you know, or some fly decides to land on it. So I bury it and it depends how many worms I have, obviously, but within the week, it's gone. And they like it. So this is nice and smooth. Anytime I work with manure, I wear gloves. Even though worm castings is the poop of the worm. But I don't know why. I just, I wear gloves. So, all right. So we're going to keep, uh, keep an eye on this. And I will keep you guys updated. Okay. 
the temperature for this thermometer and here in the wormery, it says it's 70 degrees Fahrenheit. And I checked the thermometer on the wall and it is 70. So let's, uh, let me see what it is in here. This says 70 on the nose or 69. All right, so I'm gonna date this and then we're gonna, we're gonna keep an eye on it. Newspaper down. Luckily, I get a lot of free newspaper, which I absolutely love getting. I'm gonna cover that in plastic so it doesn't dry out on me and then we're gonna we're gonna see what's gonna happen with it so this should be fun right curious to know what what's gonna what's gonna go on in here now we're gonna put red wigglers in here oh, ran out of water just in time Hey guys, so we're gonna go check on that bin that I've been doing the manure experiment on and we're also gonna peek at the watermelon and let's just see what they're doing. I did check the manure bin and the temperature is not changing so I think I'm gonna take a chance to put the worms in there anyway and just see what happens. <laughs> we'll see. So I've been checking the bin with the manure in it and there's like no change anywhere in the bin. <laughs> I know I wet it real good. It's been here a few days. So, I don't know. I think I'm going to take a chance tomorrow when I'm off. Or maybe even tonight when I get home from work. Because you guys know I can't sleep or anything. So, I might put the worms in there. Let's check on the watermelon. Okay. Mr. Watermelon. Is this the watermelon one? It sure is. Oh my gosh, I got a forest. I got a forest. This is from the pumpkin. <laughs> so we're just going to rip these up and let the worms have at it. Because I don't want them growing into pumpkins, you know. It'd be cool to let it overgrow just to see what happens. But I don't want to do that. Maybe next time. Or maybe this isn't the pumpkin. Maybe this is a watermelon. No, I think it's a pumpkin. Anyway, let's see. I got a hole over here. Well, I see that they're down there. And it looks kind of juicy in there. No, I gotta feel it. I don't feel any worms, but what I think is happening is the decomposing watermelon in here the juices are falling down there and they are having fun so yeah those seeds are definitely the pumpkin but look at them so i'm just gonna gently roll this back because that's how they had it so i don't smash them and let's just cover this up again and i'll pull the rest of these up let's cover this the moisture feels good, but I think tomorrow I'm going to wet this down. Yeah, that's for sure. So let's cover this up again. Let's check on the bin that has been waiting for a while. <laughs> the one I'm doing the experiment on with the six weeks, eight weeks, whatever it okay, is. Okay, here it is. <laughs> on the 24th, we were at three weeks. And then we went to... Uh, the four weeks and now January 17 will be the six weeks and today is January 5th or 6th I'm not sure so I'm only doing it with this one I was gonna do it with the others but I'm not going to because I'm not sure like what's gonna happen so um, and I don't think anything bad's gonna happen I just think the worms will hatch they'll be delicate because there'll be little wisps and I just might to wait a little longer to work with this one so I don't hurt the babies you know but so far everyone looks good bedding looks good 
I don't see young babies yet, but of course, you know, they're probably in there. I don't see them. I didn't bring down my glasses. They look good, though. We're just going to wait and see what happens. If I were to ever let the worms stay longer and let them hatch in here, um, I wouldn't use the sifter to get them out. Um, not even my plastic sif sifters, which are a little more gentle because they're just too delicate. I would do the hand method, the light method, and get them out that way. And you know, sometimes I like doing that method because honestly, I find it very relaxing. Um, I do, it gives me a chance to be personal with my worms one-on-one, -on -one, just to really get a good look and see what's going on in there. Because I know you worm people just like me, you know, you're curious to see what they're doing and you, because you want to take care of them. Boy, they love that banana. Look at that. So I left the banana here on the surface just so that I could do that, pull it up and just see what they're doing. <laughs> but I see little things flying around. So I might have to cover the banana and get my mosquito dunk water. And that's a way to get rid of flying things, guys. Get you some mosquito dunks and spritz everything with that water. All right. Moving on, tub number one. We still got the forest here. And by the way, the lettuce is gone. They sure are enjoying these things. They look good. See, look, there's a lot of young ones. And sometimes they go on the plastic and, you know, if that's what they want to do, sure. Why not? Let's come on this side. See, I don't see anything. All I see is worms right underneath the surface of the leaves. Because they love leaves. They love them, guys. This is like their natural food out there. You know, besides manure and dead animals and stuff like that. Yeah, they love the Every time I push leaves aside that I leave on the surface that have turned brown like this, you'll always see worms. They're doing well, well. They are. This one I'm going to wet down a little bit tomorrow also. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. As usual, find me on my other channel, The Composting Worm Lady, and I'm going to start doing more videos over there. And we're going to keep this experiment going, and I will keep you updated and just see what happens. And I'll keep you updated on the bin that's been here weeks. We're going to monitor that closely and just see what happens. Meanwhile, all the others are going to get sifted. All right, guys. We'll take care. And I'll see you next time. Bye.